Okay, 21005. Write a loop that reads positive integers from standard input and that terminates when it reads an integer that is not positive. After the loop terminates, it prints out, separated by a space, and on a single line, the sum of all the even integers read and the sum of all the odd integers read. Declare any variables that are needed. Assume the availability of a variable stdin that references a scanner object associated with standard input. So, what this wants to do, it's going to have the user enter numbers, and as long as they enter positive numbers, it's going to determine if the number is even, add it to the even total, if it's odd, add it to the odd total, and then at the end, it's going to print out the sums of the two. The way that the user will exit the loop is by entering a zero, or by entering a negative number. So, first let's talk for a second about how we can logically test for a negative, or a, a even or odd number. This little percent sign is going to be the remainder operator. The, the divided sign is a divided operator, but what that does, let's do uh, 10 divided by 3. 10 divided by 3, the whole part of that is 3. But 9 divided by 3 is 3. There's actually a remainder of 1. And that is what the percent sign gives us. The remainder of a division, a div division operation. So we're going to need that because if we look at 2, if, if you have 10% 2, it equals 0 because the remainder is 0. Now, this 2 is special because if something is divided by 2, then it is even. So another way of saying that is if a number percent 2 equals 0, then this means number is even. Similarly, if this equals 1, it's odd. For example, 11 percent 2 or 101 percent 2. It's a quirky little test that is going to come in handy. So let's get started. Um, we're going to need to declare three variables. Sum even zero and sum odd. I'm going to do something a little different here. Um, I went through it once and I don't want to do a do while loop. Um, I want to just do a normal while loop. So what I'm going to do, our number that we're going to change is going to be 1. It needs to be positive in order for us to enter the while loop. The restriction on while loop is it must be positive. Once we're in the while loop, we're going to determine if it is even or odd. So, it, and we're going to, our first if is going to be even for no particular reason. If it's even, then number plus, not number, um, sum even plus equals number. And this plus equals, if you if you don't know, is a shorthand for saying sum even equals sum even plus number. It's adding it to itself. So it just kind of shrinks it in. It's a good habit to use that. Saves a couple seconds. Um, and if it's not even, then it's odd. Else sum odd plus equals number. Now the reason I, I made the sum odd equal to negative 1 is because when we first enter the loop with this dummy number, we're going to then test it. It's going to be odd. So we're going to add it to the odd number, the odd uh, sum, which is going to restore, it's going to get the, uh, the sum to where we want it to be, which is at zero. And then it is at, at this point that we're going to, for the first time that matters, get the value of number. And we're doing that with the method nextInt which is a method of stdin. 
And that's what was given to us as assuming it would be a, a, a available. It's the standard input, which you'll get familiar with if you're not already. So this says get the next thing that the user enters. And by the way, it's going to be an integer. It doesn't wait for an integer. It takes whatever the user enters and assumes it is an integer. It will crash if it is not, which it won't in this exercise. But then, so that's the while loop. So we get inside of it, we get it to zero. Now, now we get the number and then it loops back. So long as this number is positive, when it gets here, it will then go through the even odd test. And if it's even or odd, it will uh, add to the sum of whichever one it wants. Now we're outside the loop. We just want to print the, I think it's print line on its own line and separated by a space, which one's first? Separated by a space, the sum of even separated by odd. So sum even plus a space plus sum odd. And that should be it, but let us see where we went wrong. So we're going to add, we're going to put two in there, we're going to put four in there, we're going to put three and one. So we should have six space four when we terminate the loop with a negative two. So six space four. All right, we did it. Um, so the complete answer is here.